Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. I'm gonna be testing and reviewing the new Mizuno MP18 range, the three sets of irons, and give each set of iron its own full review. I've got the four, seven, and pitching wedge, and we're gonna start off with the MP18, the most bladed in this family. I'm gonna be testing it on GC Quad using Real Pro V1s. So the MP18, the, the blade, the muscle back, is a true blade. This is as classic blade as you will ever, ever see. And it is, I mean, it's, I don't often say this, this, this is near perfect. This is so absolutely stunning, the MP18. This blade is, will again be very much designed towards the skilled golfer. There's not gonna be a lot of help in this, just with it being such a small head design. They're introducing a new forged HD effect, so a high density forging, which makes it even feel better. I'm looking forward to testing if that's the case. And how they've developed this new golf club, and the story behind this is that when computer design started to come in, golf clubs and Mizuno started to go into that compute design. And they were making golf clubs more on the computer and losing what they felt like was their craftsmanship of their experts. So what they did, they made the golf club as a mold and then handed it over to, <laughs> to a guy called Turbo. And this guy called Turbo is a master craftsman and he did all of Nick, Sir Nick Faldo's golf clubs. And Sir Nick Faldo really does love this guy in some of the promotional videos. And he, they gave this golf club to him and said, work your magic on it. Work your magic on this computer designed model. And then he came back with this and they stuck it back in the computer design and went, yeah, let's make that. It is stunning. It feels like it's got a little bit of personality to this golf club. So I'm gonna be hitting seven iron first. This is the 34 degree seven iron. Certainly not gonna be strong lofts. Wow, this looks unbelievable. It's such a simple classic club head design. There's not much to it at all. Let's give this a hit. Oh, that felt good. That felt lovely. God, it sent a, sent a shiver up my spine. It felt like good. It was like, it was, it was that kind of softness, but it also had a very satisfying sound when it hit off the head and it flew beautifully. 169 carry, pretty much exactly where I'd expect a 34 degree lofty golf club to go with a seven. That felt unbelievable. Let's give it another hit. Comes out great. It's not producing a super high ball flight, it's producing very neutral ball flight, but with so far good spin numbers. So just generally, just feel, feels very nice off the head. That was a slight left shot, but still felt really good. Let's give this another one a hit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, there was the middle. I hadn't found the middle until that point. That was the middle. Oh, what's he called? Turbo. Turbo, you're the man. That was awesome. That flew beautifully. 173, good spin numbers. Are probably a tiny bit low for a seven. Absolutely middle of middle, that one was. That came out unbelievably well. The average carry distance there for the seven iron was 170 and spinning around 6,200. Let me just check the peak height of those because they seemed like they were going high, but not. they weren't going to space. They had a really good ball flight to them. It's a kind of a penetrating ball flight. Let's just check what the average was there. Yeah, 33 yards up in the air. The last one was 37 yards, which is pretty high. And a really good descent angle again, coming in at around 40, just above that 45 degree angle of, a, of a approach coming into the green, which is gonna stop quickly. Oh yes. Oh, God, that felt good. Right, let's move to, let's move to four iron next. Okay, so this is where we get even more blady now in moving into the four iron. The blade length is actually quite a short blade length and it is just so well kind of molded and crafted. It's like, it reminds me of almost like a, of like a samurai sword. It kind of looks, has that kind of feature to it. It just looks so, so sleek and solid. It looks scary though. A bit like a sword. When I put this down by the ball, that looks like a very small head design. 
and that's a slightly toey hit there with the four iron. I'll just show you what the result does there from a toey golf shot. It's actually done well, just under that 200 yard carry. As I get into a more bladed four iron, it always makes me feel like I want to shape the ball a little bit more right and left. That had a fraction of fade on it. 200 yard carry, good ball flight. It's a little bit right of target in the end. A great strike location. Actually, it was just a little bit toey when I look back at the data, and it probably just felt it a touch. More of a bottomed hit. That's a bad golf shot. Let's see what a bad one does with this MP18. I thought I was going to get more punished than that. Still got on the green. I thought I was going to get more punished. You'll see the strike location in the moment. It's very low on the head, that. And it still actually only carried five yards less than the one before that. See the strike location. 4,000 spins, not bad. Yeah, so much lower than the one before that. Let's find the middle of this bad boy. That's the shot. Yeah, that's a nice golf shot. It's actually carrying when hit really well, a bit further than I expected it to. I possibly didn't expect to even get to that green at 2.15, and that's actually carried that 2.03. Yeah, 2.03, or 2.04 that carried that for 2.23 total distance and a really good ball flight. Very, very forward and penetrated. It's certainly not got loads and loads of loft on the golf shot. You can see strike location there, pretty solid again. Carry distance there on the average was 200 yards on the nose. Spin rate was four and a half. Peak height, 30. Land angle, again, it's never going to stop super quick, but it is a four iron, so you're not going to expect it to. Felt good. When struck out the middle, that felt solid as a rock. This golf club is really, it's kind of te almost teasing me. It's like, come on, play with, play with me, Rick. You know you want to. But on the flip side, it's like, I do bite though. If you get me wrong, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite you hard. Let's go pitching wedge. Pitching wedge loft is 46. And again, this is where the design just comes into its own on the wedge. It is a beauty. 130 away from the green. Out nice. Oh, that line's just moved a little bit off being straight. Let me just straighten that line up. That could have been good, that. Good ball flight carried there at 129. Th and good spin. Ah, a little bit low on the spin. Only 8.6, even though the strike was pretty good. It's a great looking club head, though, here with the pitching wedge. out nice again similar golf shot to the last yeah just a couple of extra yards further carry distance what i do like about this wedge i don't feel like i can hit it too far which is always a promising sign for a pitching wedge you never want to flight it too far and spin it too low yeah closer to 9,000 spin you can see the strike there a little bit more centralized let's go one more oh that's really good flight on that is perfect don't go too long. Oh, I didn't want it to go too long. It's actually carried there nearer to 135, which is a real shame. I didn't need it to do that. It's kind of what I didn't want it to do, it kind of did. 136 it carried. It seemed to come out a little bit a little bit hotter that time for some reason, which I wasn't expecting from such a small golf club. But looking actually at the bottom of the golf club, it's not super ridiculously bladed. There is a little bit of cavity at the, at the bottom there. It's almost like got a bit of a chunkier bottom on the pitching wedge. The potential flying out there. The MP18 range. This is just what they're classifying as the muscle back, the blade. Wow. Looks wise, they are perfect. They look unbelievably just, just perfect. Feel, love it. Love the feel of these golf clubs. They have that soft feel, but yet you get that satisfying sensation when you hit the golf shot as well. You know when you've not hit the middle, and by no means, these golf clubs will offer any level of forgiveness. So please don't be fooled into thinking that they're going to offer forgiveness. If you can strike the middle, which I've managed to demonstrate there on those nine shots, you're going to enjoy these golf clubs. 
if you hit across the club face, you are not going to enjoy these golf clubs because they are going to punish you. Like the sword analogy before, they're going to hurt. I don't want to say cut you, that feels a bit extreme, but they're going to hurt you. And I feel like the, the way that they've been designed just great, whether there's been this huge shaping influence from Turbo, which gives it this incredible look, there's something in that because they do look great. I'm now going to review also, you can check out all the reviews of the Mizuno MP18 range up here in the corner. We've got the SC, which is the split cavity, and the MMC, which is the multi-material cavity. Let's see how those get on as well. MP18, Mwah. love those. Comment below, what do you think about the looks of those? And do you think you're good enough to be able to hit them? For me, these are for golfers who are very good ball strikers. For me, these are sub... I almost want to say sub five handicappers. That's kind of where they should be looking for for this. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the view, hit that like, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and we'll see you next time with more reviews coming your way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.